Okay, so these are my like genuine reactions. I'm about to play or er, react to Nolan North and Troy Baker's retro replay, where they play asteroids. Too simple. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Nolan North. Welcome to Joystick 101. <laughs> Joystick, but simplicity. 10 minutes is then flipping as well. That's pretty much all that is. I always got stuff early. So, Nope. Milk. 
So it's one rig like this. And then you have someone else to above. Can you not rub your face against the computer? It's moving the camera. You're not getting any of this cookie dough. See, chat. Chat. Yes, you. In my butt sometimes. How do you put three fingers up? Like, say, hey, can I get three drinks? To the bartender across the way. Like, I three. Yeah, three drinks. I know people go, three. Sure, and I get her up this way. I change. Yeah. This is, that, that, like, one, two, three, four, five. Not one, two, three, four, five. Weird. Three times I don't, but you never see somebody get, can I get two drinks? No, it's two. It's like a drink. Or this. Yeah. Or no, but drink. Honestly, I'd go for anybody can get a beer. Can I get a beer? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's a different like one more. And we're good. Washington. Washington. This has nothing to do with uh, anything other than the University of Washington and West. I mean, is that how they do it? Dude, now I'm now we're in a blood crypts, blue, red. Um, we're, we're in blue. No. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Pardon? I was just down in the HPC kicking it with some bees on the west side. <laughs> Okay, 
I think that was on. Right here. No, it's like it's the hyper space. It's like it disappeared, ready? We are we were having a problem. Oh jeez. Oh no, here comes it. Ready, here it comes, ready? The rock's coming my way. Hyperbit. Oh, and I show up somewhere else and it could be in another in all, in all seriousness, did, did you ever, have you ever been able to like, is there, is it, once you, once you start moving, is it, are, is there possible to get back to the middle and not be moving at all? No. It's kind of like Sandra Bullock and um, Gravity. I have yet to see it. <laughs> okay, I'll bite. What the heck? Oh my god, I stopped again. Well, she's falling with your face. Which, by the way... I'm going to do a gratuitous name drop. Um, New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Circa 2015, maybe? Um, I'm in the green room with one Neil deGrasse Tyson. Were you really? He's in Hot Dogs. And we're chatting it up. Corn Dogs, maybe? No. Uh, that'd be clever. He's sitting there with. Um, uh, Carl Sagan's uh, lovely wife, and uh, they're there to promote Cosmos. And we're sitting down, we're talking, and I said, "Here's your question, man." And he stops eating and he looks at me and he goes, "Yes." He said, "Does he even like Gravity just as a film?" And he was like, "I mean, come on, because this is right after he like, had his whole rant on Twitter about what he, mm, what he thought about the movie Gravity." And how it was just, you know, he debunked everything. It was like, of course, they would never be able to do that. You couldn't get, you, you, you've seen the tweet. Excuse me, we don't send medical doctors to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. And I was like, but I mean, that, why, why Why did you feel compelled to call out all of those things? He was like, well, look, you're an actor. If, if they were to, you know, that's what he said. I'm not trying to do an impression. Uh, he, he's just the manner in which he speaks. He said, if you're an actor, I mean, if they made a movie, about actors, uh, would you feel compelled to, to comment on it? And I was like, you mean every movie? Every movie is, is yeah. actors. I, I don't feel compelled. And much less, I was like, besides that, the entire thing is a metaphor. It has nothing to do with space. It is 100% about Sandra Bullock dealing with the grief of her, the loss of her daughter, and then finally finding her own independence and her freedom from it. Didn't need a man to save her. I was like, what a the, the, the second that I saw that film, I was like, this is Oscar. The last shot. She's finally back on terra firma, and she stands up out of the water on her own two feet. Sandy B. Sandy B. You know she's saying that because she's a Texan. She lives in Texas. She's not a Texan. She's from Texas. She's not from Texas, but she no. lives there as quick as she could. That's a bumper sticker in Texas, but I'm not, I wasn't born in Texas, but I got here as soon as I could. Um, of course it is. Uh, it does not surprise Austin, me one bit. There is much more. Uh, in Austin. Oh, shit. Whoa. Hyperspace. I have a space. Anyway, uh, I love that movie. I'm going to call on, man. I haven't seen it yet. Later. I want to. I, I want to see it even more now. Uh -oh. oh, no. You got me hooked, Dick Troy. You got me hooked. Call it. Balls! Flying in space. Yeah, you have a guy, Christopher, in a while. Send it on its way. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen that guy. Yeah. You know, that kind of knocked the dust off him a little bit. You know, uh, literally a figure. Um, <laughs> want to shoot some Skittles for a while? <laughs> some Skittles? You know what? What is this guy? Mm. Any woman will tell you a finger's better than a limp dick. Especially this one. Well, it's got a little bit of a hook to it. God. I know what that means. I don't want to know. Uh, I don't want to know. Maybe uh, it has a piercing. <laughs> you can't get comfortable. Well, you know what you need? You need some Muggsy jeans. Why am I most comfortable? <coughs> I know, right? Most comfortable jeans ever made. Ever. Like in the mm, history of no, no, no. Ever made. Uh, no exaggeration. They are uh, just. As comfortable as wearing like blankets. Mm. You know, they are soft, flexible, mm. proprietary uh, materials. 
and make them just it's like this far. It's deep. Stylish too. Not too baggy, not too tight. That's always the problem I think the trade off. It's like, oh they're comfortable. But they look like ooh. Yeah, and if they're too tight, people are like, Oh, you've been circumcised? I'm like, it's so embarrassing. Halfway to my knee. Point is, what you want in a comfortable jean is something that looks good too. And Muggsy, these are the ones for you. Uh in uh, the US too, free shipping and returns. Why would you need to return them though? Most comfortable jean ever made. That they're that confident. Confident. And by the way, confident? Confident? How about a hundred percent god dang guarantee? Ugh. Do yourself a favor. Do your legs a favor. Do your crotch and everyone who gets to see you a Sharon Stone a favor. Go to Mugsy.com, M-U-G-S-Y.com. Do not forget to use code retro. Spell it. R-E-T-R-O. Very good. You're gonna get ten dollars off. Why they give you that much off the amazing right. Good job. Sure. You, you get a gold star money. there, Troy. <laughs> Yes, no. <laughs> Think of the narrative of this. Okay, so there's a plan. I'm assuming it's not just an autonomous vehicle. Uh, I love that part. Space. Yes. Wait, wait what? <laughs> no, I think. Yes. That's me and my friends. It's just that. My, my, it's really. It's like, oh my god, this is a cool okay, I, I can't even pause it. I'm just going to wait. If no. I were this pilot, yes. I no, think don't do that. I'm good at shooting rocks. It's, us. it's an endless life yeah, it's a of rocks. Ass. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It, it, it's Sisyphus. It. it is. You're right. Hold on. Drew actually gave us a, a really uh, cool notes as he yeah. is wont to do in his cage. From time Are we to time. getting a Noli plot instead of a Troy plot? Sometimes it gets a little excited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm watching it. Right, guys. Yes. April fifth, twenty ten. John McAllister. What? The guy oh. has a name. Oh. Oh. No, no. This is the guy. He broke the twenty-seven oh. year record set by Scott Safran. Mm -hmm. A high score on an internet live stream? Forty-one million eight hundred and thirty-eight thousand seven hundred and forty in a fifty-eight hour live stream. That guy needs a life. Burritos and love. <laughs> That's how you say that. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to go. Mm, burritos. I mean, look, we're, the, the whole the whole extra life charity stream is great. Twenty-four hours of just. Playing video games for for a good cause. Yes. That guy did that for him. Why? Do you, what do you get besides nothing at the end of that? No, in 2010, you get mentioned on Retro Replay. Yeah, like John, nine years later. Can we call John McAllister? He's probably yeah. dead. Or he's in a, a mental hospital. Broke the 27 year record. 20 for 27 years. You're Scott Sackler. You're set. Like, no, it's Helen. It's been almost 30 years. No one's going to break. Hello? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's terrible. Do you know why? Because it's Helen. Nobody needs to fight it that long. I, that's the, I've blown up three times. I have 80 points. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a big deal. John McAllister is the second most famous McAllister next to Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Any skills asks you to experience stress? Yes. Do you have anxiety or chronic pain or have trouble sleeping at least once uh -huh. a week? Grumpy cat in the back. That's what I was trying to do. Personally, I have get to. Uh, we've talked about that before. As you get older, I guess we'll react to that. Back <laughs> and yep. don't abuse these things. Uh, I was like, oh, feels. Feels and premium Wait. CBD delivered directly to your doorstep. Feels naturally help reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. And helping with my back, especially That's after funny. I work out or whatever. Uh, I don't want to take Advil or any other kind of pain medication. No. I don't like mm. personal liver. I don't like putting chemicals into my body. Uh, Understandable. Synthetic chemical. Well, it's all natural. This is all natural. It feels like uh, I've tried the, the uh, drops. So you just do drops on your tongue. It takes care of all that kind of stuff. Just, yeah. This kind of just takes the edge off a little bit. Um, I, I've, I've tried it after workouts, things like that. You know, uh, like you said, joints. Mine have no cartilage anymore. So getting that stuff in there, getting mm -hmm. working, just feel better. I don't I, think it's a great way to help. 
If you're new to CBD, don't worry. Bills offers a free CBD hotline and text message support to help guide your personal experience. Uh, a lot of people have questions about Bills or have questions about CBD, and Bills can help answer those for you. Bills works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high, no hangover or addiction. This is just the CBD oil. And you can join the Fields community to get Fields delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order, and you can pause or cancel anytime. Fields has me feeling better and feeling my best every day, and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to Fields.com slash Rick Replay. That's the show. Oh, Fields, F-E-A-L. That's. Uh, you also get free shipping. Wow. Uh, that's F-E-A-L-S. Can you do that in the, the other phonetic? Come on. You can do this. Fox Trot. Yes. Uh, Echo Alpha Lima Sierra. <laughs> dot com slash record replay. To become a member. Yeah, of that. <laughs> I don't know the. Yeah, I'm gonna call for that. I need to learn it though. Slash record replay. Can't lose. I want to go back to Neil deGrasse Tyson we talked about. Did he ever say? I know the thing with the. I know the thing. Very, very thick, thick fingers. Pads of his hands are like a bear, and he holds you so gently. Why is there a jam on your neck? Seeds, and sometimes he likes texture. Play dead, but why? Why are you? Why are your pants at your ankles? Just waiting for a bear. Two things are dark bears, kids. All right, grape jelly and menstrual. Now let, let, if we trip you. No, Neil deGrasse Tyson, do you think he, uh, does he, did he ever rail on the idea on, of uh, explosions in space, like in Star Wars, where there's an explosion? Yeah, he's like, I wonder what's happening. Like, can't be no, but it would be pretty fucking pathetic if the Death Star just went, it's like, come on, we know it doesn't make sense. Sound because a but there's no explosion apparently there's no blast because there's no oxygen so I have a stupid question and I don't know if you know the answer and I don't know if we have NGT on the speed dial because we know NDGT NDGT I was still forced I forced it myself the tears running in the corners and it's gonna go <laughs> it wouldn't even be a good one so. Asteroid because it's coming to the planet, whatever the hell it is, and it explodes. What happens without the presence of any oxygen? What is it? What does it look like? Does it explode? It would explode, right? But would there just not be a, a burst of what would happen? Well, first, we have to define what an explosion is. An explosion. An explosion is what happens, right? Well, this is a very sexual episode. <laughs> If I were to scare that bit, or if I was to scare that So the, 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 the particles would obviously break up. There just wouldn't be the fire and smoke and converge. Because clearly there are explosions in space. Right. right? But there's no fire, fire and there's no sound. In space. A billion years ago, the universe and time as we know it. The Big Bang. Is this an explosion? It's kind of like the rock that got this small around. Right. Wait, I think what. what what Neil Tyson's getting at is that we don't have to over sensationalize things that happen in space because he finds the magic and the beauty and the wonder in just how it currently operates. We don't right. add to that fiction. We don't even right. have, but we're also putting spaceships out there, which depend, you know, if you're Dan Aykroyd, then you 100% believe this is true. But that we have yet to see a Death Star, or we have yet to see mm -hmm. an Imperial threat. But so we don't have any Millennium Falcons. What the hell is an aluminum falcon? We don't have those things flying 
of space. So we don't know how this is going to explode. That's true. Or be vaporized or whatever. It's bronze and it's aluminium. Falcon. And you look at, those are gorgeous and amazing and stunning and far better than our best visual effects. I don't know what it would look like. What? <laughs> like, I like the, the, the effects right of the space. Can anyone smell it? Maybe a tree. Would it propel you forward? I wonder if oh. there's any trees in space. That's walking. It's not even in soil. You see when you look around. The roots looking for something to grab. In root? <laughs> uh, I like it when it's in the, like, when they go the opposite of outer space, to me, in my head, inner space. No, underwater. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the, the inner space is just space. space. I was thinking the core. No, you go, you go into, you go into, um, James Cameron's best film. Yeah, but when, when something goes, when it, when they, you know, when it, when they, Oof. The, the, the pressure, yes. We just, you'd be, you'd be just like a great. My grandfather, I found out, was on a submarine for a while. I learned really my the whole of my life. He would never talk about the war. We talked about was he a little man? No, six three, just wide. Then I don't believe. And I was on a submarine. They're all little people. He was. You have to be. He was like, you're tiny. He was not stationed on one. He was on one, and it, it wasn't a long amount of time. And he told me, "It's like you have to be conditioned to be on that." He's like, "Because you don't see sky for weeks." But I'm like, oh, I couldn't. Mm -mm, I cannot. Now, I, have you ever gone on like a World War Two sub? They had one in New England where I grew up. Yep. Uh, in, uh, right near near where I grew up in uh, Fall River, Massachusetts. Oh, Fall River. Yep. Uh, they have some uh, in that too. There. And there's one in San Diego that you can tour. And it's one that was saw battle. And it is like being in a galley kitchen for, yep. for months at a time. And I, I, I just, it's just, I'm mm -hmm. not really claustrophobic. It's not a claustrophobic feeling. You're just like, there's nowhere to move. Yeah. You're constantly crouching. You're, you're yeah. going through. Things. It's not claustrophobic. And it's metal everywhere. And I don't think those. Just points, space in general. Like. <laughs> Right. When we were in London and we went on the Golden Eye, yes, I was. The Golden Eye is the is a replica of Sir Francis Drake's ship that he used to circumnavigate the world, and that ship that we were even on did twice. Uh, we could almost touch the sides. It was it was wider than some of the World War II subs I've been on. You're yeah. No. Nope. Wider. Because there's too much metal that has to. And because it has to curve. To be, all the equipment's on the wall. Right, that too. In the middle, because because it's the thickness yeah. of the hull and how the hull is constructed. So it's imagine that golden hind with like uh, maybe a three foot walkway, not even maybe thirty inches to thirty six inches walkway yep. down the middle, and everything under and around you is the thing that makes it stay afloat. Yep. And you're walking down, it's like you have a plank. So and then there's cabins here and here, there's little homes, there's areas, apartments. And, mm -hmm. But, I mean, it, it is like being in the, you are the cream in the, 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 the devil dog. So in order to wow. make that the <laughs> proper, that Here's the, the corn, or here's the hot dog and the corn dog. <laughs> so in order to make that, you can't, because you can't go out wide, it is length and not girth. Dr. Pin's jokes. I did a dick joke. I did a dick joke. I did a dick joke. Don't start. I already gave you one, and I had two. I have a tickle. Mark this day in the calendar. It is a day. Speaking of penises, you have a tickle? I have a I made a dick joke. I did make a dick joke. Apparently, Universal Studios. You know, the ones with the tour. <laughs> the ones with the three hour lines. The ones with the three hour lines. Shit scared out of you? Won yeah. the right. Won the rights? Was there a contest? Was there a battle? Uh. This 
to a movie ad no adaptation, not adaption. Don't tell me you copy and paste this, Mr. Wire. Of the arcade I get it. Of the arcade classic asteroids. Uh, Second sentence. God help us. That's why I did our <laughs> wedding. You did that. You did that. That's why I'm <laughs> sorry, okay. It's not even grammar it was <laughs> spelling. Right. You're saying. Why are hemorrhoids in your ass not called asteroids? These could be because space hemorrhoids. It was. Uh, why not? Why not? I mean, aimed. It seems like an asteroid is a better name for a, 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 a hemorrhoid. It was discovered uh, by but it was named by the doctor who was an adult as opposed to a nine-year-old. That's why. <laughs> Shut up. Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even, uh, 
I don't go to malls anymore. I don't either. You walk past the Third Street Prom, I'm like, I know where I park because it's where they say I regret. It's not like it. Whatever. Hey, how you doing? Spray. Get the shirt on it. Don't you spray the shit on me again. Right. I'm walking in this thing. These two guys, just like no shirt, just ripped abs. Like, you may help you something. And I look. I swear to God, I look like I sure hope not. I said I want. And I actually, I said I want to get a belt. Like, oh yeah, you haven't seen a belt. I don't believe in that. Oh, the rip my dude around my jeans, <laughs> <laughs> tie it, then untie it, then untie it later. So if I untie it, it's it pulled out, which is cool because that's probably what I need it anyway. Open an Abercrombie and Fitch. Can you take your order? Open an Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch. I said, in fact, you know what the great thing is? It's like, you should go to a mall and yeah. bring like chili dogs to the Abercrombie model. Like, please eat, eat something for them. Please. You're ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> uh, 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 like, I can't buy any of your clothes because I'm. It's not like I put that on and go. Bam. Yeah. Then go. No shoes. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is Abercrombie still a thing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, really don't, I know that. Uh, you know, it's, you know, like teenage kids. Man, it's like they don't go there. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Well, Cooper doesn't. Cooper goes to one store. I was Cooper likes one store. Mine was structure. I don't know if anybody's gonna remember. I remember structure. Yeah, like, my entire wardrobe was nothing but like stretch rugby's. Um, really? Yeah, dude. I, God, I don't see you in a structure. Super preppy, super, super, super preppy. And structure gave you like, yeah, they had the whole. Oh my God, I remember this. They had the layered look. Right. So Drew, like, where oh, are these pictures of them <laughs> when they were younger? Yeah. It was like I would love to see the layer in this thing. And it would be in July, and I didn't care. I was like, that's, I would wear that. Genera and structure. If I could find a Genera structure shirt that. now, mm -hmm. I'd wear that shit now. I remember that. First credit card ever maxed out. Bad, bad sure, sure. choices, yeah. That they yeah, gave yeah. me a credit card. I was like, okay, I don't have to pay this back, right? Like, I don't need to pay all of it back. And like, I literally, if they're like, you can't spend any more money, we, we give it. better them. change your name. It, it was. Gary. No. <laughs> Gary. Gary, no credit. Gary, no credit. <laughs> Gary, no credit. Gary, 650. Gary, uh, Gary 530. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably like, like, like maxed out at like $1,200. Phyllis so Edward Baker, and then I changed it to Troy Baker. <laughs> my open to buy, they call it. When I turned 18, I got two credit cards, JC Benny. Yeah, that's right. And then both maxed out. I made stupid mistakes, stupid mistakes. Like, yep. Stupid. Always pay your taxes. And pay less. It's the only two pieces of advice I will ever give somebody else. I, I don't. Do not accept that. The sky is falling. You, 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 that's the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Is to start off at 18 and they market you like crazy. Oh, dude. Cooper gets Oh, yeah. It's terrible. It's like, here's an American Express. What's your limit? Don't have one. Go nuts. Ugh. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Cooper, I can. Cooper has got good sense. Jarrett has good sense. I didn't have good sense. My parents, come on. Man. I don't think they will. No, they would be like, how am I supposed to pay this back? There you go, get that job. No, I, 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 no, I just don't think there's a time. They have a debit card. Right. It's like, mm -hmm. see how much money's on that? That That's comes it. out every time you buy something. This is like just yep. cash yep. in a different form. But don't do something. Don't. The, most, the, the best guacamole advice for real advice would be don't spend more than you have for your bank. That's a credit card, but so, I. And then, and then, what buy it. When, I remember, I remember exactly. when I finally got better with money. I was like, well, like let's say you want to like a thousand dollars in your bank account. When you get to that, that's like that becomes your new base. Right. Okay. Now, now anything over that, then if you know you want to buy something. For don't let it drop below that base. It's like a, my dad did that with uh, gas in the in the car. He's like, don't ever let it get below a quarter cap. Yeah. By the time it's empty, you're in trouble, and then you don't forget, or you forget, or <clears throat> you know, and all of a sudden you're in trouble. Just, just, and then it always seems like you're not. Oh man, it cost a fortune to fill up my tank. It's like, get the halfway, just, just fill it, fill it. Again. Just yeah. always in the full tank, right? Because I never did, and I remember filling up. I always wanted to pump the gas, and so. I'm, oh my dad was always like, go get a receipt. And we could only get like a dollar thirty two of gas. That's all we had. And so I remember going in there and we had this like a dollar thirty two gas. Oh thirty two of gas. I was pumping for eight. She was like, a dollar thirty two, then I get a dollar thirty two. And this back when gas was you know, the dollar. Um, it may have been it it, it, it 
certainly was a, it was a laughable amount of gas anyway. Yes. No matter what the <laughs> gas is, a dollar thirty two is nothing. Unless you're like trying to drown an ant mile. <laughs> it's just a ridiculous amount of money. Yes. And I said, Can I get a receipt? <laughs> and she goes, Do you want she looked at me with such derision, she was like, Do you want a dollar you want a receipt for a dollar thirty two of gas? And she angrily wrote, wrote me out a receipt. But I ne we never had gas, and I've only been in a situation where you run out of gas. But I have. I've been in a situation where, like, not only are we not going where we thought we were going now, I don't know how we're going to get there. Um, and how are you going to get home? I have to rely on, on just the good nature um, of, of humans and someone coming along and being kind enough to hear you out of gas. Um, and so, whether it be me or Pam, um, and David's really good about making sure that we have gas in both of our cars. I've, I've never run out of gas. Never? Never in my life. It's ter by the way, mm -mm. I'm terrified of it. It's terrified. And it's one of the mm -hmm. things that uh, I guess uh, people with electric cars, that you're like, you're constantly looking at this. There's a, there's a term for it, but you're, where you're constantly really? looking at. Uh, it's like the uh, you're, you're worried, like you're worried about losing the charge, and it, it, it's one of those things that. Oh, you're saying people with electric cars have that? They have this this uh, range anxiety, like you're just not sure you can get to where you need to go and back without having to charge up. But you don't want to charge up. But I think I can get home, and all of a sudden you're five miles from home, and it says you have eight miles, and you should make it. So it's like eh, that's not that's not a new term. That's what we call survival. Mm -hmm. like the sun will be setting, <laughs> then it won't come out at night. I mean, right? Yeah. That's how we survive as a species. Mm -hmm. yeah, now you're at a quarter tank. What now the you're, fuck? Now you're a Tesla. Oh, well, no. How many, okay, listen, <laughs> don't know this. How many gallons are in your tank? Mine? Yeah. Mine's in 20 gallons. 20 I gallons. No, fucking blue. If you get, how many miles do you get? Um, I get probably no idea. I know it takes 16, like thirty two dollars okay. so like, to fill up my tank entirely. Right? Um, no one's gonna do that. Now. <laughs> no. Like, it's so much easier. Sure. Which is why I don't do it. Four hundred miles. You don't get four hundred miles on your car. There's no way you get four hundred miles. Uh, when I fill up, it says my range is three hundred eighty-eight miles. You don't get it. <clears throat> You're gonna get you three hundred if you drive within the limits. You double it. And you also, you punch it, you're like, ah, I gotta get around this guy, right? You got a quick car. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like, punch it. I didn't say <laughs> like, I've got a fast car. Yes. <laughs> I drive a fast car, you have a fast car. Yeah. Um, and I will get up and go and, and move around. So I've got a fast car. I've, you got a fast car? I have a fast car. Is it fast enough? Like, fast. fast enough so we can fly away. So I never get. I wish you'd fly away. away. <laughs> It's it's a it's not a real number. It's like I've got a quarter tank. You're like, what the fuck does that mean? I don't have a quarter tank. You have eight miles to empty. <laughs> that much I can understand. Yeah. Because no, I don't. You have to say so. I think with with the, the, the Tesla electric car uh, folks, it's kind of like that range anxiety where you're like, well, it says I have 35 miles. I should be okay. But are you? Like, wait, 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 wait. Does it actually get 35 miles? No, because because I know saying you're that's, that's a car. Are you saying like no, no? I'm saying this. It's the same thing as in yes. you know, regular uh, combustion yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah. If if my car says I have 20 miles left in the tank, right, and I decide to just just gun it, it is not going to last no. 20 miles, right? Or if you put it on a um, right. cruise, so there's a certain point. It loses more gas on cruise. You hit the gas. That's a surge of electricity that's sure. required. So that thing, because I've seen, you know, it, like. Uh, we're driving back from somewhere, and you're like, I got 65 miles left. And you go 10 miles, and you look down, and like, I got 32 miles. 32? 32 miles left? I had 65, 12 miles ago. That math doesn't work. And you're like, mm. so where's the sweet spot? I think we'll see right. that part <clears throat> Yeah, but you can have 300 miles in the tank. And if you just floor it, it, floor it, Harold! Um, it will. Like I think if you're right around 60 to 65 miles an hour on the freeway, you keep it there. That's where the engine is is its most uh, uh, efficient. Holy shit! Yeah. This is the most boring conversation we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs>
actually. It's teaching a lot. I wonder what the gas so thank you. On this <laughs> Bringing it back around. Hey, folks, I'd like to apologize oh for today's episode. It feels like space. Uh, asteroid sucks. You saw two 40 <laughs> something year old happy, men happy talking about, you know, kids, <laughs> if you want to have good fuel efficiency, you want to keep it around 65. The and best. make sure you get plenty of fucking fiber. <laughs> and the best thing you need to know about your game is that it gets better. It gets a yeah. lot, lot better. Holy shit, never have I been more happy, except for Shaq Fu, to ask you, <laughs> what do we play next? Yes. Yeah. No, play Cuber. <laughs> if you have a more interesting conversation, I'm sure you play Cuber. <laughs> play Cuber! That's the thing that always concerns me. What is it? God damn it. Uh, I should not make that. <clears throat> These are this is this is five men right now having this <laughs> conversation. It'd be four hundred and eighty kilometers? Yeah, but, but, but what is what what is that in miles? Three hundred miles is four hundred miles. But what is that in miles? <laughs> but, it's always less. But isn't the range anxiety based on a bunch of little people? I don't know what the range anxiety No no, it's because it's it's because there's no there's no, the way, there's no there's electronic vehicle gas. See? That you guys need to bring in kilometers so that we left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs>